please search warrant! Come in, please search warrant! Come in, please search warrant! Oh man, I thought um, I thought someone was trying to rob me. Actually, right when they when they first say that. Yeah, I just started started hearing. I was upstairs and I just heard like heard a lot of banging, like a lot of commotion, like downstairs. Like that. I mean, everything that's going on, like just minus the pictures, what I was hearing, and like I was like shook for a minute. And what were you doing upstairs? Uh, using the restroom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a bathroom inside my room. And did you hear the initial knock? No, uh, um, the Columbia Police. That, no, uh, uh, like it's about. It, I mean, it's about two seconds from when they start knocking to when they start hitting it. And uh, I mean, they come in. I don't know if you can rewind on the video sure. somewhere er, like earlier in the video. Like you gotta watch it. I don't know if there's slow mo, but. It, like right there at the very beginning, you, oh, you see me. tail is what you see in the video. You see, if you like pause it, you'll see. I've seen the video a thousand times in my head. Right there. Ah, that's your dog. Yeah, that's my your dog. dog in the living room. Running away. She's actually, she's not facing towards me. She's running away because she don't know like where I am and like, she's just trying to save me. And, I don't know, man. They like hit me with a flash grenade, and well, when I come out the room, I seen it was the police, and like I come out and I was looking down the barrel. Um, I don't know, maybe it might have been 220, whatever kind of gun they was using. You can't see it. He's right here. He's got the gun on me, and I'm down on the ground. Like it's, it's right here. Um, they actually threw a flash grenade at my uh, head. Uh, I covered up, but I mean, I don't know. I remember seeing the flash grenade, so I don't know if it hit me or not. Did you come in through the window or they throw it up the stairs? No, nah, yeah, they were coming up the stairs and they just kind of, you know, <coughs> tossed it up the stairs because, um, I mean, I had to be it's pretty aggressive with me before, so I just, you know, I just got on the ground, you know. I mean, you got a gun to your face, you know. You're not, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to try to make a move or anything. I'm just going on the ground and... Yeah. You know, just trying to let them be um, as uh, least aggressive as I can, you know. And then plus, you know, I'm, I know I'm in a little bit of trouble here, so I'm, so I'm really just kind of trying to keep my mouth shut, too, you know, so I don't get in any more trouble or get anybody else in any trouble or anything. And, uh, you know, so they take me downstairs. Um, I had a little sack of weed on me and some money. Uh, they get excited about it, you know. Uh, towards the end, really, is kind of what gets me is um, I'm telling them like, because I kind of I'm I'm kind of stunned here. Uh, towards the end, I'm with uh, the sound or whatever. I tell them I'm I'm not gonna you have to shoot my dog. She's not gonna bite you. Don't you have to shoot her. Don't say that another shot. And then this fucking asshole says something like, "Ooh, when you." Deal dope and the police come to your house. Yeah, that's what we you wanted get, to ask them. You get your dog shot, or that's what happened. They cut it off right at the exact time. How many I mean. people are supposed to be in this house? Hey, pay right attention. Now. How many people are supposed Just to be me. in the house? Just me. Okay, you and there's two oh, people down here. How many's up there? Nobody. Nobody's up there. Just a dog in the room. She won't attack, neither. She's been shot. Oh, she got shot? Yes. yes. When you deal dope and the police have to come to your house, I mean, because it, it sucks it cuts off at the right exact time. And, I mean, I got so many emotions about the video. Like, I don't know where, like, I can, like, just, like, maybe he's being professional, you know, and saying, like, that's the risk you take. Or, fuck, maybe he's being a cocksucker, and he's saying, excuse my language, uh, maybe he's saying, like, you know, that's what happens. Like, that's They're what just looking get. for aggression. Obviously, they just came in my house in that messed up room big and they want me to outburst or something and do something to where they can just mess me up and say I was aggressive so that's why they did the stuff in the first place like I'm not I don't want to give them the emotional reactions so immediately you were already thinking about that about yeah like I'm not react. I don't want to give them the emotional like because they're looking for that when you see when he picks me up he kind of on the ground he kind of shakes me a little bit like get up 
like I'm cooperating. Stand up, man. Get up. Get up. You go past. Go. You know, like I've I've been on that road to where, you know, like you you say something too loud or something, you know, and they jump on you in your base, and next thing you know, you're on the ground getting hit with something, you know, and like I didn't. I just didn't want to get what they were looking for. That's basically what it is. Like I'm trying so, to be calm. Uh, interesting right note on this whole thing is when I was convicted of these crimes, I, I mean, you know, I, I might have broke the law and whatever, like in this video and stuff, but like I haven't ever lied about anything that I've done. Like I've always kept my word and I've been honest. And, um, you know, I went to, uh, court and uh, the gun charges were dropped and uh, the, um, I got convicted of distribution. I got eight years uh, prison sentence with a five year backup, which sucks. But uh, no, we're asking a judge for a lesser sentence, maybe potentially a five year SIS. And the reason What's he said he- five year backup? Uh, no, eight year backup with a five year probation. Uh, so I might say it wrong. That means I'm on probation and if I mess up, then then you go potentially eight years in prison. Um, might serve like two of them or three of them. And that's for selling for marijuana. For selling marijuana. They didn't marijuana. find anything yeah. else um, other than the other than the guns that were, were yeah, it legal was, anyway and they dropped the charges. It was maybe about two um, I mean two point eight pounds, you know, maybe about twelve hundred dollars worth or something like that. Yeah. Uh, well what kinda got me is when I was we were asking the judge for a lesser sentence and he said I Anybody that has guns, I would, but anybody that has guns and pit bulls, I can't give that to. But, I mean, those were legal. I had guns, I, it was legal. The pit bulls, they were legal, you know, so I mean. Guns are legal. Guns <laughs> are legal. It, it, it was legal for me to have them at that time. Like now, like, you know, if I got, I got found and so you can't have guns, you know. But yeah, like that, that's just something that always kind of stuck with me is like, you know, I feel like they came up in the house that was really kind of discriminated against when the fact of the matter was it was some, it's some weed. I'm not, you're not going to go shooting into law and get, you know, 50 years for something that you're just going to go get probation for. Everybody knows you get caught with that amount of weed, you're probably going to get probation or something. What judge did you see? Uh, Kevin Crane. Oh. I mean, I don't know why. Why couldn't they, like, call animal control? Like, why can't you call animal control if you know you're coming in somebody's house and you know they got dogs, like, I mean, I've seen shields on TV, shields, um, I mean, I don't, wouldn't want them to use mace, but now, like, you know, seeing what they did use, I would have been a little bit happier if they might have maced them or something, or I've heard fire extinguishers being used, but I mean, you're coming in there using concussion grenades and like guns, like you. Man, they just should have just they, they, all they would have to do is knock on the door, man. I'd answer. It. You know, they like, pull you over when you leave the house. Or something, yeah. yeah. Like it, I didn't get a chance to answer the door. Honestly, I felt like if I was behind that door, I would have been hurt the way they came up in there. Um, I mean, they planned on shooting. It was a plan on, like, they planned on shooting when they came in. Hey, whoever's downstairs, just remember if you have to shoot those dogs. Lee Hart will be up back at the corner. Same thing for upstairs. We're going to be down there. He says if you have to shoot, you know, they didn't, I didn't hear any other method that they said that they were going to think about containing the house except for go in there, let's shoot, don't shoot at the back of the house, let's get the job done, let's go in and grab our $1,200 worth of weed and, you know, another fucking scumbag down. That's what they were thinking. And they treated you like that. So. Yeah, I don't. Did they seize any other property, any money or anything? Uh, yeah, um, it was really what they got out of me. Right there was about $5,000. Um, in weed or actual No, cash? in cash. Uh, turned out to be about 3900 or something. I don't know, Dan, had, Dan ended up getting uh, the money back because uh, some sort of paperwork they didn't file or something. So they intended to keep the money, they just screwed it up. They were just, yeah, or, yeah, pretty much, or they got lazy and they won't do the paperwork or something. You know? It's like, they can do whatever they want with you when you're up there. Like, you're, like, I kind of feel like, well, the way they come to my house, like, it's like they, 
like judge, jury, and executioner is what they did. You know, they come up in there like they, I have like, at the point to before they came in my house, like I was innocent of the crime that they were trying to convict me of. Like, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. I felt like, I mean, my life was honestly at hand, man. I'm looking like down the barrel of a gun and like you just, you slip up and I mean, you're gonna be shot. So like, you can just be, you can just be sitting there, you know, and to be honest with you, they can just, they can come in and uh, they can shoot up your place and whether they get convicted of or in trouble of in the future, you're still sitting there and your place is still shot up. You know, that don't fucking, that don't put the freaking fix the holes on your wall or fix the freaking dots and memories in your head or bring your dogs back. You know, they can do whatever, whether it was white or wrong, right or wrong. You got freaking eight guys with fucking automatics and machine guns and bulletproof vests. They can do whatever they want. Drew me a back van and they didn't even buckle me up. I had to make them buckle me up and then they just like race back to the freaking police station breaking stoplights and everything too like I, we almost wrecked on the way back on uh, Green Meadows and Providence. For recession man I was broke I was trying to make some money I was starving so I needed some food it just kind of got out of control and How about I didn't you? realize my one of my consequences would be though that I would lose my dogs so I realized that there was a you know, there's the judicial system, and I thought that's what would be followed. I didn't think, you know, it's like visual antique kind of shit. What about after yeah. the fact? Like, uh, did you have any effects? Was it easy to sleep the next night? And you know, or... yeah, I, I cried. <laughs> I cried. Like anybody seen me? I was over her house. Um, man, it was. I mean, I sometimes I still get emotional when I see the video or like get to talking about it. Um, if I hear a loud bang, man, I get the chills. Like if I'm sitting in the house and you hear a loud bang, like one of the concussion grenades, man, it sends chills to my bones. Like that's like, I mean, I don't know. Like my doors stay locked, you know. Like it's, I'm a little more uh, aware, of, you know, like what could happen. I mean, I don't think this like happens to like everyone. You know? saying but like like I live with like the fact that like I don't know I hear the big old boom you know I check the front door make sure somebody ain't kicking like, like I don't know man gives me chills like gives me chills. Hey, I got a video in my head and like there's some dogs like just man like you know them dogs you know what I'm saying like like they were there like every day they was there like, they were looking out for me. Like, them dogs, like they died looking out for me. Watch out, Honestly, what gets me is like, when I remember last, is I'm upstairs and my dog Diamond, that's her name was Diamond. Diamond and Juby was the dog's name. Juby was the dog dead right there in the hallway and Diamond, she runs upstairs and like, she's like looking for me to like protect me. And like, they're sitting there chasing her around with like a freaking gun. Like, like I'm coming out of the bathroom and she looks up and then like, she's like trying to make sure I'm safe. I know she's trying to make sure I'm safe. That's what she's there for. And I'm just like looking at her like, man, I'm like going in like the hall, you know, I'm going to the hall, so I'm going in the hall and then like the cop just comes past her and starts like, chasing coming her. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Don't move, please search warrant, don't move. Search warrant, don't move. Search warrant, don't move. It's just like, I don't know, man, that look that, like, like, that she was looking to make sure I was safe is like, really what sticks in my head. Uh, it's kind of sunburnt now. That's the one that I'm laying down. That was the one, the upstairs one? Yeah. yeah. It was diamond. Yeah, she was chasing the bedroom. That was her on the first part of the video, like running up the stairs. That was the dog that was in the bedroom on his back. Where was the where was the other dog shot? Um, I don't know. By the time I got downstairs, he was facing the back door, like towards the bar right there. And, uh, so he was shot downstairs when they that's the gunfire yeah, here when they first about, come in the house. He probably about twenty five feet away from the door, facing front door, shot facing the back. the back door. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know where he was shot, but yeah, uh, they just I don't know. I don't even know what they did with the bodies, man. Um, like I couldn't get them. Uh, they. They wouldn't give me the bodies back? Well, I don't know what they did with them. Like, when they like told me Diamond was like dead, like, 
I was like crumbled, like, and I was like asking for Juvie, and I couldn't get Juvie's body. And, like, so I didn't figure out how to get Diamond's body either, man. I was, I just hurt. Like, they're like, they're gone. Like, you can't get them, they're gone. They didn't say you can get the bodies or anything. I don't know, man. Like, I come home and, like, there's just like, his blood, like, dragged all the way around the house. They just dragged him after they was done with them. They just, like, drug him from the kitchen, on the concrete, on the grass, all the way around the front of the house. Like, there's a big old freaking blood smear. One of the officers I remember was the de detective, and it was uh, John Short. And um, he's a little bald guy with glasses. That was after the raid, or he was Yeah, this was... He was came through after the raid, but I remember him because in court uh, we did a, I don't know what it's called. It's called it's something where the, your lawyer goes and questions all the witnesses. Anyway, but he was questioning John Short. You know, we're going over the testimony. And one thing that really got the reason I remember John Short is because uh, he said that the room at the top of the stairs. He said the door was open with the shotgun when it wasn't like. I mean, if I am saying that he's lying because he's trying to make it sound like they were more at risk, like I was going for the shotgun or something, but the door's closed, obviously. And he said that there were bullets in all the guns, like there was bullets in the chambers of guns. And, um, I mean, that's just stupid to keep a bunch of guns around your house with bullets in the chambers. Like, you know, you can trip and fall and one of them go off and somebody get hurt, you know. Some of the guns had bullets in them, but they weren't in the chambers, you know. And, it, I mean, he just straight up lying that, like, no. I mean, how do you prove that he's lying? I mean, I don't know how you can prove that there were chambers in it, but that, you know, then again, when he says that, you know, how do you prove that he's lying, that there's a freaking bullet with it in the chamber, you know? Like, so it was kind of his word against mine, but that's why I remember him. They got all the officers' names and the paperwork and stuff. Check it out. Dan called one of them a Nazi. I'm pretty sure he's got a list of uh, stuff. Like the way he spoke about the house, the, the way they spoke about it was kind of military. Um, they wanted to dominate the house is what they was. And uh, they looked at the job, the dogs as uh, objects in their way of dominating the house. It was kind of their mentality. You know, they came in there like a bunch of, you know, robots trying to, you know, um, achieve an objective or whatever, um, you know, like, as much as I say, like, you know, like, I don't think all cops are bad, you know, like, it's even probably after about this. three or four, even after this, man, like, you know, I, I believe in people, it sucks, but you should, like, you should lead the exam by example, not, you know, breaking people's houses and shoot their dogs, you know, it's not a good example, but lead how, teach people how to do right, I don't know, man, it just, is I mean is is really arrogant. Like that is I feel like they think they're above the law. Go see a counselor here. Uh, I don't know. I got some meetings up with counselor or something. I probably ain't mentioned that with them too. Um, I don't know, man. Just kind of kind of feel like a wounded animal. Honestly, ever since this happened, I kind of feel like you know I've just kind of been shot and kind of just been leaking, like walking around. I don't, honestly don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I feel like a wounded animal like says this happened. That's all I can think of is like a freaking deer that got shot and run off in the woods and I'm just trying to just chill and like, you know, I hope it gets better but it's not gonna already get better. You know, I don't know.